Good morning, YouTube. Good morning, good morning, good morning. First, let's give our Father all the thanks, all the love, all the worship, all gratitude for loving us the way he loved us. Many people might not encounter or really sit down to think about the real true love of our father because no one really has the time due to the spiritual warfare that's going on in this nation. I mean, in this entire world, not just in America, it's going on everywhere. We, we can't be in many places at one time. I don't care what kind of phone you got. I don't care what kind of smartphone. You can't be in, I mean, the secret parts of the world. Only our Father can. He sees everything. He created everything. And we know this. But a lot of people been hung up in so much chaos, chaos, chaotic news said about putting that focus on our Lord Savior, Jesus Christ. Many don't believe in him because you wasn't taught to. Many people don't want to come out of the traditions of men, which the traditions of men will have you in a place of death, eternal damnation. It will. As I was meditating with the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, not hidden spirits pretending to be the Holy Spirit, but the Holy Spirit. Just like when somebody do something to you that you think that is not right, or you think that is not correct, or you think no one can do anything to you, those demonic spirits tell you to devour them. Go and end them. Go make their life a living misery. Do this to them. Do that to them. That's how those demonic spirits talk. But the Holy Spirit say, forgive them. As our Father forgive you. That's how the Holy Spirit speak to you. But when you're not dealing with the Holy Spirit, you're not going to do those very thoughts or you're not going to take those very actions because you're not connected with our father when I was in sin as I thought about last night just going back into remembrance of when I was in darkness before the father pulled me out of light I went back down memory lane and my heart cries. And what I mean by my heart cries, it aches because I once was many now when you just don't see, when you just feel, but you can't move. When you know that the surface you're around or the surroundings you're surrounded with is so toxic, but you feel like there is no breaking point. There is no movement. So you, you just pray and not pray into, help me, Father, get out of this. You just pray into yourself. I'm glad when I get out of this situation. One day I'm going to walk out of this situation. One day I'm going to get out. Not asking the Father to do it, but you're praying to yourself. You know that selfish 
self-righteousness of yourself, lover of yourself type of prayer, which is one of the most dangerous prayers because you're only praying into your flesh. You know that there's a creator up high, but at that moment, you're not looking at it that way. You're looking at it of I, 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 I'm going to make my move. I'm going to do this. I can do this. I can get out of this. I can get out of this. But the warfare just constantly comes. I mean, comes, 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 comes. And you just praying to yourself that one day it'll get over and done with. One day things will change. One day I have a break. One day, but that day never comes. It only grows worse it only gets intense and sometimes people die into this spiritual warfare that is so intense they don't know what to do they ain't got nobody to run to they ain't got nobody to talk to they drugged out they drunk out when you hear a lot of people say i'm in a dark place now it's it's in a in the sense of com uh suicide committing suicide which i never been there i never been to something so intense i've been into some intense spiritual warfare battles but i never been to it where i want to take my own life but i'm not speaking for me i'm speaking for others you know that is in this state of mind don't trust very paranoid become narcissistic due to narcissistic abuse Hearts change, patterns change, thoughts change, love change. This is very serious. But this is what Satan attends to do to humanity. See, he got to play his part as he did in heaven with those one third angels that believed him instead of believing the Father. However, that went up there in heaven. I have no clue. One day we will know when we reign with Jesus Christ for 10,000 years and come back for this great war that's going to happen. One grinding at the mill, one disappear. Two grinding at the mill, one to disappear. Two walking in the woods, one disappear. That's me. He going to take his people and we going to reign. And I guess we going to get to talk to him and we going to get to train and we going to, and then that day when he come back we have this war don't be the one left behind when you have a chance to get it right when you have a chance to make it right and my title for the day is stop impressing people Stop impressing your loved ones. Stop impressing others. Your main focus is to impress our Father and His Son, our Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ, the Messiah. Follow Him. Follow Him. Follow Him freely. You don't, He, he don't put no control, no intimidation. He don't put none of that on you follow him freely and when you follow him freely you'd be amazed how lightly your life will be you'd be amazed how awakened you come each step you take you take this step one step might take another month or two but you you stepping you don't realize you're stepping but trust me you're stepping rather you believe it or not you're moving another step might take you another six months but guess what? You're moving, but you don't realize you're moving. It's amazing how the Holy Spirit builds you up slowly. That's why it's long suffering. Long suffering is a reason. Long suffering means that you have to be built in truth and in the truthful way. So when this demon or devil desire to come back around you don't overcame that situation so you would see the tactics now you got to climb more it takes time it takes preparation it takes a strategy everybody got their own strategies the father gave each and every one of us our own strategies he scattered us abroad for a reason 
we are sheep in the midst of wolves. It's a reason. Now, I'm a woman. But the calling the Father got on me is one serious, one serious mission. I don't know what it is yet. And I used to holler, I'm a woman. I'm a weaker vessel. Dad, this ain't fair. I'm not a man. But my mission is more severe than others. I am more... And I hate to say it this way. I do hate, and, I, and I'm and i giving that word, and that's a strong word, that I am more stronger than majority of men, and that is bad. That is bad, and it's very shameful. That is bad, and it's very shameful. When you read the word, the word speaks to majority men. You might hear woman this, woman that in there. You might hear this and that, harlick and... You know, you hear a lot of bad things in the word because it's a lot of women that is being used for merchant. A lot of women don't want to hear that. A lot of women get very defensive about that, but it's cool. It's cool. I mean, I understand. I, I, believe me, I understand 100%. It's cool. Because I know how severe Satan can be when you are in darkness. When you don't know. When you think what you're doing is right. Or your heart become heartless. Cold hearted now. You don't care who you hurt. That is because you are working under a severe demonic force. That Satan, he don't care who he hurt. He already know. He already been judged. So he already know, bam, I'm gone anyway. Let me just do what I got to do. And that's a bad state to be in when you say you don't care about other people's feelings. And, and you don't care about who you hurt or who you devour, there is a point where you got to care. Because if you die careless, there's a great reward for careless. It's a great reward for being careless. And it's not a pretty reward. I was reading Jude last night, meditating on Jude. Jude is a powerful... Ooh, it's a powerful, powerful, powerful. And I'm and as I got time, let me turn my phone up. I can let it read it to you. The epistle Jude. Listen to Jude, it. Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ, and brother of James, to them that are sanctified by God the Father, and preserved in Jesus Christ, and called. Listen to it mercy unto you, and peace and love be multiplied. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that ye should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. But there are certain men crept in unawares, who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, ungodly men, turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness, and denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. I will therefore put you in remembrance, though ye once knew this, how that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that believed not, and the angels which kept not their first estate, but left to their own habitation. He hath reserved in everlasting chains and a darkness unto the judgment of the great day. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah, and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Likewise also these filthy dreamers defile the flesh, despise dominion, and speak evil of dignities. Yet Michael the archangel, when contending with the devil, he disputed about the body of Moses, durst not bring against him a railing accusation, but said, the Lord rebuke thee. But these speak evil of those things which they know not. But what they know naturally as brute beasts, in those things they corrupt themselves. Woe unto them. For they have gone in the way of Cain, and ran greedily after the error of Balaam for reward, and perished in the gainsaying of Kor. These are spots in your feasts of charity. 
When they feast with you, feeding themselves without fear, clouds they are without water, carried about of winds, trees whose fruit withereth, without fruit twice dead, plucked up by the roots, raging waves of the sea, foaming out their own shame, wandering stars to oh, whom is reserved thing. the blackness of darkness forever. And Enoch also, the seventh from Adam, prophesied of these, saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints to execute judgment upon all and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed and of all their hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. These are murmurers, complainers, walking after their own lusts, and their mouth speaketh great swelling words, having men's persons in admiration because of advantage. But beloved, remember ye the words which were spoken before of the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ, how that they told you there should be mockers in the last time, who should walk after their own ungodly lusts. These be they who separate themselves, sensual, having not the spirit. But ye, beloved, building up yourselves on your own most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. Keep yourself. Now let's go back to... And in Jude is just one chapter, 1 through 23. Let's go back to Jude one sixteen. These are murmurers complainers walking after their own lust and their mouth speaketh great swelling words having men's persons in admiration because of advantages let's go down well we can go to 18 no 17 but beloved remember ye the words which were spoken before of the apostles of our lord jesus christ how that they told you there shall be mockers in the last times who shall walk after their own ungodly lust. These be they who separate themselves sensual, having not the spirit. But ye, behold, beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost, keeping yourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. This is deep. Complainers, mockers, mummers, complaining about everything, kicking their heels up against the Most High. You got to be really foolish. You've really got to be demonically possessed. Leviticus. And um, Leviticus, I'm saying it right. I'm saying it, keep saying it because, honey, me and that word have a problem. I'm going to be honest with you. Leviticus. Um, that um, verse there, I'm trying to, I, I just passed it. Leviticus. Um, we can go to Jude um, 8. Likewise, also these filthy dreamers defiled the flesh despise dominion and speak evil of dignities. I mean, like this this one chapter got a whole lot that we can just go over, you know, and it is just so heartbreaking. Um, chapter, I mean, verse four, for there are certain men's crap into unwariness who were before of old ordained to this condemnation ungodly men turning the grace of our God into Leviticus and denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ and you hear that all day all night they would use the father name and lustful oh the father told me this the father told me that oh I love you oh I want to lay down with you oh I want to be with you and then hollow they they represent Jesus Christ they represent the most high come on this the word the reason why satan tell y'all that the word is man-made or why satan tell y'all these things because satan do not want you to be awakening to his snares and his devices he don't want y'all to believe that his force is behind the vessels of humanity he just wants y'all to believe that this is just what it is 
Evil is evil. Take it. Don't worry about it. Deal with it. No, I'm telling you. Because if the father have to deal with you, in your lusts, you die in your ungodliness, there is a place. We, we need to stop believing that Satan is telling the truth. Or we, we got to stop believing that there is no hope. There is no help. There is plenty help. There is much hope. All you got to do is believe. Follow. Deny yourself. Just keep telling yourself, I don't got time to impress people. I got to impress the most high. Free willingly. He's not going to force you to do anything. It's your choice where you want to be in life. That's one thing about our father. And that's one thing I love about him. He don't force us to do anything. So if you force to do anything, you know you're not up against the father. You're up against a dark spirit. The father give us free will to love him. Desire him. To follow him. As Jesus said, if you love me, you will follow my commandments. You will follow my father commandments. Jesus came to earth to set us free. He defeated Satan through this flesh. If Satan's already defeated, why can't you just get up and follow? It's just that simple. It might not seem simple in the beginning because you, you're doing something new. But you don't realize how that new thing or how being uh, transformed matters. It is a valuable thing. If you can get your mind off of this desires of this world and all this murmuring and complaining and all these mockers. And if you can stand up against Satan through any vessel and seek the kingdom of the father first. You will be amazed. And I mean, you have to you have to put in some work. It's just not going to work. I can go to work and work on the job all day long and be easy. It'd be easy for me to do because now the world is defeated. The Holy Spirit, he's in me. So the things of the world, I don't, I don't get upset with no more. I don't desire. I don't do all that extra stuff no more. I don't worry. I don't stress. And if I do start stressing, I'll say, oh, oh this ain't the spirit around uh oh it's a demon around. It's something uh, dark around. Because we do not have the spirit of fear. We have a spirit of love and a sound mind. And that's just that simple. But I'm here to tell you, Satan is not an easy win. But if you put up the fight and you don't get knocked out, meaning you think not. Because a lot of people, they start moving. Then when the warfare get intense, they'll turn back. No, stop running back into Satan's arms. Leave him finally, I mean, leave him most definitely final. That's it. I'm not coming back. I don't care who abused you. I don't care who throw you out homeless. I done been through all that homeless, sitting on the side of the road crying, sitting in my Jeep sleep, had to go to Walmart. The father always kept me with financial money to get the things that I need. I went and got me some wipes. I went and took showers at, you know, random houses. And I went and stayed in a little motel where the prostitutes and everything was going through there. I didn't care. I had to get myself together. I was not going back into Satan arms. And I did not do so. So what you see me now, my flesh, I keep myself up. Natural hair, you know. I'm not, I never was a woman that did a lot of makeup and stuff. That ain't, that's just not, that was just not my thing. So you're not going to, you know, that's just not me. I used to let me get my nails done, but nails are damaging too, your, your regular nails. So, I mean, I'm just a natural, I'm in the gym because I'm older and I, and I like to just to keep my exercise workout. I ain't looking for no hot girl body. I'm looking for a health girl body. Um... I'm not into my flesh. I am definitely, most definitely into my spirit. I do not take nothing that is abusive to me. I will not allow anyone come in my life and overstep my boundaries. If you do so, I will warn you. I see you for who you is. If you do it again, it's just a click and clock. Clip. I got to walk on. And I don't care who you are. I don't attach myself to anyone because I didn't attach myself to a lot of people I thought that loved me and I got my heart broke because they were ungodly. They did not have no empathy in their life. 
they did not have no type of compassion to reciprocate. They didn't have no type of love to reciprocate. So therefore, you can't deal with people that is just about themselves. They don't care about nobody else but what they get. You cannot deal with those kind of people. And you got to be very careful through anyone. Because you don't know what these, even down the little children, you don't know what they were taught. And when they speak too much, some get in trouble. Some are intimidated. Some are in a lot of abusive fears. So you, you, know, you, you don't know. But all you can do is spread the love and get the world, whoever want to follow Jesus. And they got, to, if, they, if anybody follow me, you got to follow Jesus. It's just that simple. If you're going to follow me, you got to follow Jesus. I don't follow nobody else. I get taught by the Holy Spirit. I follow Jesus because Jesus is going to get me right with the Father. That's that's just the way it's going my, on my channel. I believe in self-work. I believe in picking up your own burdens, fighting your own demons. I don't believe in other people doing them for you. I believe most definitely you fight your own demons. That's just what this community is about. I'm, I'm starting off. I'm doing it on a, a consistent basis now. You know, I'm not going to give up. I'm not looking for a whole bunch of viewers and subscribers because if you subscribe, you, you really want to get your life right. It's going to take some time to get your life right. I don't say this much like, share, and subscribe because it's your free will to like, share, and subscribe. I don't force nobody to do nothing. If you want to like it, like it. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. If you want to share, share. But I am not going to force you to do none of this. And I'm not going to constantly say it on a daily basis because y'all watch YouTube long enough. Y'all have been on all social medias. I don't do all social medias. I just do YouTube and Facebook. That's it. I ain't Instagram. I ain't TikTok. I ain't, I'm not, I don't have, uh-uh. That's too much social media and, and it's just too much. I don't have time for that type of entertainment. It took all that I had to get up here on these social medias. Because I don't do social media. I don't do TV. I don't do none of that. I just constantly meditate on the word night and day. And work around the job and listen to the videos on YouTube. I don't do Facebook. I don't go up there and check out Facebook. I got no friends on my book. They follow me, whoever follow me. I don't have time to be looking at the same old thing. Nobody's growing in their spirit. It's just they growing in their possessions. I don't have time for that. Yeah, if you ain't growing in your spirit with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, our Messiah, our government, our governor, because we got the best king ever. So if you ain't following him, I'm sorry. You're not going to win. You know you ain't going to win. You might prosper for a little bit of time, but things start getting real shaky in the, in the, uh, in the homes and in the businesses and in your financial state. And then you wonder why. Because if you ain't got Jesus, you will not defeat Satan. You ain't got the word, you will not defeat Satan. If you ain't got the bonus of the Holy Spirit, you will not defeat Satan. Only the kingdom of the Most High and the angelical light beings that did not follow that devil. That's the only. Archangel Michael. Satan don't like that name either. Archangel Michael. The father, he ain't got to get his hands dirty. He's the creator. Just like Satan tried to get them one third demons to help him out. He can't be the father. It's just that simple. He got defeated by Jesus. He got knocked spiritually out. In love, though. He got knocked out in love. Ain't that something? Well, love is so great. He got knocked out in love. I love you, Satan. You messed up. I'm sorry you messed up. But I got to knock you out with love. He got defeated. Our king. The most righteous king you can ever want to serve. And we're going to serve him with all the love we got in us that the Father gave us. But I love you all. This, this video was longer than I expected. But I love you all and have so much love and joy in your lives. Follow the King, the Messiah, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Yahshua HaMashiach, Yeshua HaMashiach, whatever language you call him. But just know you're talking about the most high, only begotten son.